Hi, I'm Max with Western Digital Support, and in this video, we're going to discuss advanced troubleshooting for when your Windows computer fails to detect your My Passport portable hard drive. If you're using a Mac, look in the description for a link to our Mac troubleshooting video. And if you haven't tried basic troubleshooting, like trying a different USB cable or port, make sure to follow the steps in our last video before watching this one. Let's begin with our first test. We'll check Windows Device Manager for any unknown devices that might be our missing drive. On a Windows 10 system, right-click on the Windows button on your taskbar and select Device Manager. If your system looks different and you're not sure how to access Device Manager, check the links below for help. Select one of the items on the list. Under the Action tab, click Scan for Hardware Changes. Once it's finished, expand the disk drives, portable devices, and universal serial bus controllers to check for a device named unknown. Right-click on the unknown device. Select Properties. Click the Driver tab. And click Update Driver. When the process is finished, restart your computer. When the restart process is complete, try reconnecting your My Passport. If you still don't see it, proceed to the next step. On some Windows systems, there's a setting called USB Root Hub, which can prevent your USB devices from being detected. Let's make sure you have this setting turned off. First, access Device Manager. Then, expand Universal Serial Bus Controllers. And right-click USB Root Hub. Then select Properties. Under the Power Management tab, uncheck the Allow This Computer to Turn Off This Device to Save Power checkbox and click OK. Repeat these steps for each USB root hub. Finally, restart your computer. When the restart process is complete, try reconnecting your My Passport. If your computer still doesn't detect the drive, undo your changes by selecting the Allow the Computer to Turn Off This Device to Save Power checkbox for all USB root hubs. Save the changes and restart your computer. Now let's try to reinstall all USB controllers. Begin by opening Device Manager and click on the device not being detected to highlight it. Then, in the View menu, select Devices by Connection. In the Device tree, select the parent of your missing device. Right-click and select Uninstall Device. Then safely eject your hard drive and restart your computer. When the restart process is finished, plug your device back in. This should automatically reinstall the USB controllers. If you've tried all the steps in our basic troubleshooting video and in this video, and your drive still isn't detected, contact Western Digital Support for further assistance. Check the description for contact information and more help. We hope this video was helpful. For more how-tos and tips, visit us online at westerndigital.com/support. Thanks for watching.